lots of anime in here. So, just got to Japan. First meal was some beef and this eel <clears throat> in a little restaurant across the street from the hotel. This little meal is like, what, 20 bucks? Amazing! Yum! Welcome to Fujisan, Japan! So, we arrived in Japan and you wouldn't believe it. The weather has been cloudy and rainy for two straight days. And we got up here and guess what? We cannot even see Mount Fuji. It is absolutely insane. So, what's plan B to hang out at 7-Eleven? Get the best food of the whole trip so far. So, out here, what? Out here doing night photography at 12-10. Maybe I'll post up some of these pictures from tonight. But anyways, welcome to Japan land and welcome to Fujisan that we cannot see. Hi! On our way to the Mount Fujisan Heritage Center, we got off on the wrong bus stop and we ended up in this beautiful park and now we're heading to some falls in a minute. So this, um, this uh, landscape is amazing. So far so good. Always remember, enjoy the journey and never get caught up and worry too much about the destinations. So the first stop of the day was going to be the Fujinomiya station and that is the subway station if you're coming to this area you're going to come right over here the first stop of the day is going to be the Fujisan World Heritage Center it's a museum shop and it also has a wonderful cafe So immediately after the World Heritage Center, we went directly across to this little stationery store called Raihai, and that was our next stop here. And so they specialize in stationery and a lot of Mount Fuji themed stationery, and I really love supporting local businesses. So I'm gonna share up a couple of things that uh, I purchased from that store. So these are probably my favorite two things that I got from the stationery store and they're just very simple um, notebooks. They're ruled notebooks. And this one is a section notebook. I love the colors of these two notebooks. I love the fact that they're made in Japan and I actually picked these up as gifts for people. 
So two trusty things that I actually have in my camera bag are just two cheap uh, film cameras, just a Kodak F9 and my trusty um, Nikon FM with my 50 millimeter lens. I like to shoot with either Portra 800 or Portra 400. For my Japan trip, I, I shot Portra 400, 800 and also black and white HP5. So, yeah, of course, we know the magic of, you know, shooting film. Film, to me, is just a feeling. It's the, the imperfections, the graininess, the unpredictability, the fact that you have to be very selective in what you're photographing. This is what makes shooting film special. That's why I always carry, you know, film cameras in my camera bag. And these are just some of the images that I got from Japan, which was Mount Fuji area. And then also the later part of my trip was to Kyoto.